In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the InfoBarrel platform to write articles and how I add images and how I add tables to my articles. Some basic stuff I thought might help some people, whether you're an InfoBarrel member already or new to InfoBarrel. So here we go. When you want to create a new article, you sign into your account and you go to create, scroll down, and you put in your title. You check title for availability. Then you click check title and start writing if it's available. I've already done a lot of the work because I wanted to make this as short as possible. After you click check title and start writing, title and start writing, you'll be brought to this page. The title's already in for you. I had this open. And you could choose to send your revenue to charity. This article speaks about safe driving and crash prevention. So I'm going to go to technology, mm. yeah, vehicles, automobiles, and car safety. It takes a little time to get used to the categories, but you'll learn. I, I checked it out before I started this video. Now, in my signature box, I'm going to link an article I wrote already, and I'll show you right here. I'm going to link it to something that speaks about driving, aggressive driving, traffic controls. Let's see which one I have. Aggressive driving. Yeah, I'll choose the aggressive driving. So I'm linking an article I wrote a few days ago to this article. And this link, if clicked, I'll write, click, open link, a new tab, brings me to that article. As you can see, this is where the signature is. This is another article I wrote, and I connected to, can linked it to this article. There you go. Now, in the summary, you can either write a new content, or you could do what I do. Sometimes I do this. I don't always do this, but because I want to save some time, I'm going to use these few lines as my summary. I'm going to copy and paste it. Done. It can't be over a hundred words, but a summary is like a made a tag description. If you're familiar with creating free websites, you understand that all articles, I feel, all articles and blogs and websites should have a made a tag description. Just like they should have tags. With blogger, it's labels. With other revenue sharing websites, they might use the word keywords. With InfoBarrel, you have them. You up. You can add up to five keywords, and I already put them in there: crash prevention, safe driving, IPTE. You'll see in a moment, and so on. Now, with InfoBarrel, you can earn three streams of income. You can earn with Amazon, Chitika, and AdSense. We'll save that for another time, but this is why the Amazon product link is here. I chose miscellaneous and I put the word driving in. After a few days, the ads will match up to my content, and if it doesn't, I'll change it. Okay, now you'll be brought to this section here, the text. You're going to click edit. Now I want you to see I already did a lot of it because I wanted to save time, I just want to show you. You click edit, you put in a heading, It cannot, you cannot duplicate your title. You put in a subheading, I already did. As you can see here, now, I wrote this in my word pad and then I pasted it. And when you paste content into your I'll show you right now. I can always change it. Into this field, 
You take your cursor and you say paste from Word. When you copy and paste something, here I'll show you. I can always delete it. I'll just copy this. I'm going to paste from Word, click paste, it enters. That's how you add it when you do writing beforehand and you're not in the platform, the InfoBarrel platform. I'm going to delete that. That's how you do that. Now I saved this few spots. At the end of the video, you're going to see a short video how to add a table to articles. So stay with me. I'm going to scroll down. I just left these few. I want to bold this. And I want to make the background color that light blue. Sometimes when you copy and paste, you got to mess around with things. I'm going to move that back. Place my cursor there. I'm going to move that back. You got to mess around with it a little bit, folks. I'm going to highlight this. I want to bold it. Make that baby blue. If you click here, you get to choose colors, and then you can choose more colors. Create a unique color for yourself. Um, in the short video following, I will show you how to add special characters, like I added these arrows, and I'll show you how to do the chart. Now, I already added two images to this article, but I saved one to show you how I add an image. Let me scroll down. Where am I going to put the image? Oh. Right here. Oops. Okay. I'll place my cursor there. Sometimes it jerks around a little bit. You just got to play with it. I use the arrow. I hit enter. I want to add an image here. One more image. I'm going to upload. I already saved my images in a folder. IPDE. Open. Title. Identify, predict, decide, execute. Now I, I don't always do this. Sometimes I write content, and sometimes I'll copy and paste on my Dell laptop. For some reason, I can't do it, but on my Mac, I can. So I have it in a document, and I already had to highlight it because I wanted to save time. I'm going to copy it, and when I paste it here, you got to click Paste from Word, right-click, Paste. Sometimes you got to mess around with it to make it a little neater. Now, I'm not going to make this content into a link. I could, and you could easily, you would highlight it, and then this becomes live. You see how that showed up? If I click, it shuts off. If I highlight it, it shuts on. I don't want to click it because I don't want to get stuck. But if you click this here, insert edit link, you could turn that content into a live link. And then when you do, you click advance. When you click that and you go through those steps, you will click the word advance, scroll down, and you want to make this content no follow. But I'm choosing not to do that here. I just want to upload the image. I'm going to go click on article, and there's the IPDE that I retrieved from a free to use image website. I'll show you in a moment. There you go, it's pasted right there. You can make it larger or smaller. It's up to you. I want to leave it all on the left side, all my images. You can also center it, you can put it in the center, however you want to do it. So that's done with that. I'm going to save and close. Now this is very important, what I'm going to show you. 
Adding images to your articles increases your chances to earn more revenue because when you add images, it creates extra URL web pages, media pages. I'm going to show you now what I mean. Since that, I did all that. Let me just check here. Yep. And the chart's a little large, but that's okay. I'll leave it for now. I'm going to publish this. I want to show you something. In your tags. I hope I have a lot of numbers and dashes. And my tags. Oh. Okay. I just learned something. Can't use periods in the tags. Click publish. There you go. Now I'm going to click my link. I already have, let me move this over here. I already have that open. If I scroll down, you see my images. Scroll down. Oh, they are on the bottom. That's what I want. I'm placing my cursor over this image. I'm right click clicking, copy link location. Mm. I'm refreshing it, sorry folks. Scrolling down, edit, go into this picture. Now, I like to make these, my images, linked. I want to link it to the media page. Choose blank, title, safe driving, it'll populate, insert. I'll go back here, place my cursor over the next image. I don't know if you can see it on the lower, hand, lower left hand side, but there's the URL. Copy link location, go back, click it, click the image, click the chain, right click, paste the URL, left click, blank, and that's, um, how about defensive driving tips? And then I'll go here, copy link location, click it, left click it, click the chain. Oh, I could have used left click on that blank. I could have just typed it IPDE. Insert. Save and close. Oh, this here ABC, I already did my proofreading. I changed what I wanted to change. I corrected a few words, a few phrases, found a few sp spelling errors. This is what this is for. I could click it. It won't hurt it. It takes a minute. But then once it pops up, I don't want it to take too long because I want to finish here. Come on, come on, come on. See, you'll see lines like that. I chose not to change those, but they, they help you along. So you spell check and grammar check. Save and close. Okay. Scroll down. Click publish. I'm clicking my link. There's my article. Okay, I'm kind of rushing it now because I want to be able to stay underneath the 15 minutes for a video I can make. See, now I want to change this, folks. And I will change that. You got to mess around with it. But you have to look at it. That looks pretty professional. It looks good. There's my chart. Stay tuned for the chart.